Overnight, a dozen bullets shatter the peace of a quiet neighborhood in Wagaman. The shooting left a boy dead and two others, including another young person, hurt. Rachel Hanley talked with neighbors who heard all the chaos. Bullet holes in a house, two windows, and a mailbox tell the story of a tragic night on Daffodil Lane. Around 11 Friday, neighbors woke up to gunshots. And it was like about 10 of them. At first, Christina Campbell thought it had been firecrackers. Then there was an eerie silence. I was waiting to hear the sirens, but I didn't hear any sirens or anything. So when we went outside, nobody was outside. It didn't last long. Soon the block was packed with first responders. I looked out the window again, and I thought my, my front porch was on fire because I seen all kind of red lights. The sheriff's office says when deputies got to Daffodil Lane, they found three people at a house who had been shot. Two were under 18, and the third was an adult. One of the minors and the adult were taken to the hospital. The other young victim was pronounced dead. The sheriff's office hasn't said what led up to the shooting. We do know it was not contained to one house. Cookie LeBlanc lives next door. A bullet cracked her window and put a hole in her shutter. I didn't realize it. The police came over here and told me, can I go look in your window? I said, my window for what? The man who lives on the other side of the house got four through his window and one in his mailbox. He didn't want to be on camera, but he let us see the damage the bullets caused inside. Oh. The shooting was a surprise for neighbors on this usually calm street. I've been here in this house 25 years, and everybody more or less stays to himself. And it left a lot of them rattled, including Campbell and her young daughter. She hear loud noise. Mom, it's loud noise. What is that? What is that? And I have to tell her, okay, it's the garbage came in. He's coming. What neighbors don't know is how old the boy was who died or even whether he was a teenager or a child. We asked the sheriff's office and a spokesperson says they aren't releasing that information yet. They did say the other two victims are expected to survive.